Hi guys and welcome to my first video. My name is Dorotea and I'm designer behind Kruby Pattern Designs. Today I will show you how to create these lovely green zebra baby shoes. You can find the written version of the pattern with pictures on my blog. The link is in the description box down below. Let's start. You will need 3.5mm or E4 crochet hook, DK weight 100% cotton yarn, I am using two shades of green yarn, the darker one will be my main color and the lighter one will be my contrast color. Scissors, buttons, buttons are only for decoration, you can choose any type, color, shape or number of buttons you want, stitch markers and the yarn needle. Let's start with the sole. Start with main color and create a knot. Insert the hook into the loop and slowly pull the tail. Chain 11. Start in the second chain from the hook, make two half double crochets into the same stitch. Half double crochet into next 8 stitches. Make 6 half double crochet stitches into the last chain from the hook. Now start on the other side of the chain and work one half double crochet into next 8 stitches.
make two half double crochet stitches into the last chain. You have to have 26 stitches in total. Now take the scissors and cut the tail. Please do not cut the yarn you are currently working with. Do not join the round with slip stitch like we will do it on the upper part of the shoe. Just continue working on the round two. Work two single crochets into the next two stitches. Work one single crochet into next five stitches. Work one half double crochet into the next three stitches. Work two double crochets into the next six stitches. Half double crochet into the next three stitches. Work one single crochet into the next five stitches. Two stitches left, now work two single crochet into each stitch. You have to have 36 stitches in total. Work one single crochet into next two stitches. Work two half double crochets into next three stitches. Half double crochet into next five stitches.
double crochet into next three stitches Now repeat 6 times, 2 double crochet stitches into the first one, 1 double crochet stitch into the next one. Double crochet into next three stitches. One half double crochet into next five stitches. Now 3 stitches left, work 2 half double crochets into each one. At the end of the round 3, you have to have 48 stitches in total. Now work single crochet into the first one and slip stitch into the next one. These two stitches will help you finish the sole part right in the middle of the heel. Let's continue on the upper part of the shoe. Chain 1, work in back loops only, work 1 single crochet into next 48 stitches.
be careful at the end of the round. I usually do not count slip stitch at the end of the round as a stitch, but because the slip stitch from the last round on the sole is not joining stitch, counts as a stitch. Join the round with the slip stitch, but before you finish the slip stitch, when you still have two loops on your hook, take the contrast color of yarn and pull it through the loops on your hook. Lightly pull all the tails and continue with the contrast color. Do not cut the yarn. Chain 1. Make your first stitch into the base of the chain into the first stitch from the previous round. Now work one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. Join the round with the slip stitch and change the yarn. Continue with the main color. Now make two more rounds of single crochet stitches, 48 stitches in each round. Do not forget to change the yarn each round to get a zebra effect. If you are following the rhythm pattern, we are in round 8 at the moment or in round 5 in the upper part of the shoe. Chain 1. Always make first stitch of the round into the first stitch of the previous round. One single crochet into next 14 stitches. Repeat single crochet to together stitch to join first two and single crochet into the next one seven times.
one single crochet into the next 13 stitches Join the round with the slip stitch and change the yarn. Chain 1, 1 single crochet into next 13 stitches. Repeat single crochet two together stitch to join first two and single crochet into the next one five times. One single crochet into next 13 stitches. Now join the round with a slip stitch and change the yarn. Chain 1, single crochet into the first stitch. Join next two stitches with single crochet two together stitch. One single crochet into next nine stitches. Join next two stitches with the half double crochet two together stitch. Repeat the stitch one more time.
Join the next two stitches with double crochet two together stitch. Repeat the stitch one more time. Now repeat half double crochet two together stitch two times. One single crochet into next 9 stitches. Join the next 2 stitches with single crochet 2 together stitch. Work one single crochet into the last stitch. Now join the round with a slip stitch and change the yarn. This is our last round in this part. We will start with the chain, single crochet into the first one, join next two stitches with a single crochet to together stitch. Single crochet into next nine stitches. Now comes the tricky part. In the written tutorial is written that you have to make two double crochet two together stitches. I will show you how to make half double crochet, double crochet two together stitch and double crochet, half double crochet two together stitch. So the first one will be half double crochet, double crochet two together stitch. And this is double crochet, half double crochet to together stitch. If this is a little bit too complicated for you, don't worry, you can make two double crochet to together stitches and it would be just fine. Let's continue with the one single crochet into next nine stitches. Join next two stitches with a single crochet to together stitch. Work one single crochet into the last one. Join the round with a slip stitch. Now you can cut the yarn and fasten off all the ends.
I will show you how to create flip for both shoes. Let's start with the left shoe. Place the shoe in front of you and find the middle of the heel. Place hook into the 8th stitch from the middle of the heel. Start with the main collar, chain 1 and single crochet into the same stitch. Work one single crochet into next 23 stitches. Be careful, slip stitch does not count as a stitch, it's hidden somewhere on the heel. Make sure you skip it. If you accidentally make a stitch into it, don't worry too much. The only difference will be that you will have one stitch more than it's written in the pattern. You will have 25 stitches instead of 24. Just make sure you count slip stitch as a stitch on the other shoe as well. Chain 6 Now turn and place the hook into the second chain from the hook One half double crochet into next 5 chains And one half double crochet into next 24 stitches Before you finish your 24th stitch, when you still have two loops on your hook, take the contrast color and pull it through two loops on your hook. Always cut the old yarn and start with the new one. If you are following the written pattern, you are in row 3. Chain 1, 1 half double crochet into next 29 stitches.
before you finish your 24th stitch when you still have two loops on your hook. Take the contrast color and pull it through two loops on your hook. Always cut the old yarn and start with the new one. Repeat the row four more times. Change the yarn each time. When you finish, your flip has to be seven rows high and each row has to have 29 stitches in total. Now you can cut the yarn and fasten off all the ends. Now let's start on the right shoe. Place the shoe in front of you, find the middle of the heel and place the marker into the ninth stitch. Chain 5 Join the chain with the shoe in the stitch with the marker with a single crochet stitch. Single crochet into next 23 stitches. Turn, chain one, one single crochet into next 24 stitches and one single crochet into next 5 chains.
change the yarn and turn. Repeat the row. Repeat row 2 5 times. Change the yarn each time. When you finish, your flip has to be 7 rows high and each row has to have 29 stitches in total. Take the main color of the yarn, you can use contrast color as well if you want, and single crochet evenly all around the flip part. Buttons are for the decoration only. Take the yarn and a needle and sew the buttons on the top of the flip opening. When I sew them on the shoe, I make a little knot and then fasten off the ends. And here they are, cute baby shoes, perfect for your little angel or a great gift for a baby shower.
if you would like to see more of these videos, please click the button subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye!